What's going on YouTube? TCG Jake here. I've got some more Silver Tempest for us to open today. It is two booster bundles, a total of 12 packs. I gotta say, these are like one of my favorite products to exist. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. When it comes to Silver Tempest, you know what we're hunting for. It is the Lugia V Alt Art. I've actually pulled it before. We're gonna pull it again. It's this Lugia right here. Actually, this isn't the picture, but yeah, it is a Lugia V Alt Art. One of mine, the Lugia V Star Gold Card or like the Serena Full Arts. But let's go ahead and crack these beautiful card boxes open and see what we can pull. The nice thing about these is they cost as much as a Crown Zenith ETB. And yes, these aren't a special set, but you spend the same price on these as you would as a Crown Zenith ETB, you would still get 12 packs to open for Silver Tempest instead of the 10 in Crown Zenith. And to be honest with you, other than booster boxes, I think these are the best bang for your buck. So let's crack open the first one and see what we get. First up, we have a Reggie Drago pack, a Lugia pack, and an Alolan Volpix pack. Uh, Reggie Alecki pack, Lugia, and Volpix. So those are all of our pack arts. Let's start with the Reggie Drago. I like the Reggies. I totally forgot they were in the set, but don't they have alt arts in here as well? I believe they might, maybe not. I will have to go and check on TCG Player after this video. Or if we pull something cool, I guess we'll find out. But there is quite a bit of cool cards in here with the biggest being the Lugia V. Alt Art, last I checked it was sitting at 150 bucks. It could be different now. Um, and the price really does go all over the place for that card, because I've seen some sell for higher and some a little bit lower, but it, TCG Player says that according to the prices, it is around 150 average it should be. So we'll just say that, at least as of right now, 150. Uh, Silver Tempest is one of the few sets I actually can find readily available. Um, Lost Origin I have a little bit harder time finding, even though I am hunting that Giratina as well. Silver Tempest is out there. Every once in a while I actually still find Battle Styles boosters. Not often, but it does happen. And then when it comes to Fusion Strike, I don't find sleeve packs, but man, those ETBs are everywhere here. And then of course you have things like Evolving Skies, which are near impossible to find unless you're lucky and you get an ETB at Walmart, or you find um, something with an Evolving Skies pack in it. Sometimes collection boxes do. Sometimes some Pokeball tins do. Reverse Durant. And a Maw Wild V Ultra Rare. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I do believe there's a Maw Wild V Trainer Gallery card in here uh, as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm also, I'm also not feeling the greatest today. So I apologize if that does seem to be draining my energy. Because it, it really is. And it's also confusing me. Like I almost did five cards right there. We've got Verso Girl, Golbat, Emolga. Beldum. I need to find a better spot for this camera over here because it's like in the corner, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Then I'm off reverse and an Arcanine. All right, what is next? We have another Lugia. Let's see. Lugia, Lugia, Lugia. What have we got? Lugia V Star Gold. I don't know if I said that the first time when we started opening packs, but that is another card we're looking for. This first box, we got the Mawile, which is cool, but nothing else yet. We'll keep going. Rufflet, Fennekin. Durant, Emolga, yo, Darulodon VMAX, Trainer Gallery, forgot about these. Gold cards that are in these little sets, they're gold and black. They're very cool looking, although they're not nearly as cool as like the other stuff. And we have a Keldeo. One more pack for this box, then of course we have our last pack. So this is the sixth pack. Can we pull anything else good? We did already pull that Mawa, which I think I forgot to put in a sleeve. So I will have to go through these again to make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, we've got that uh, V-Star marker. Wallace, Venomoth, Vulpix, Emolga, Chameko, Baniri hopping through the forest, Drowsy taking a nap, Reverse Fanfy, and a Victini as the rare. Maybe the second box is where it's at though. Let's see. I also do occasionally find Lost Origin booster bundles, but as I said in, earlier in the video that I do have a harder time finding Lost Origin stuff. But when I do see them, I do buy them because why wouldn't I hunt for something else? My Crown Zenith luck is pretty good, but I've opened quite a bit of Crown Zenith, so I'm waiting until the tins come out to open more, which I do believe, at least at the time of recording this, probably by the time they should be up, this video should be up, those tins actually come out this week with the Galarian Birds, so keep your eyes peeled for those if you didn't know that those should be out there this week, or if they're already out there, they might be by the time this goes up. I have no idea when I'm uploading this. Drowsy, man, I've seen that Drowsy a lot. Growlithe and Mistrevis, I think I've seen that at least three times in this video. Reverse Noibat, and a Reggie Alecki V Ultra Rare. 
At least we hit a first uh, uh, first pack magic in that in that box. Well, it is just a V. It's kind of hard these days because like I can act all excited all I want, but V cards really aren't as cool. They're just not. I don't know. Even the EX cards felt more special back uh, in the last XY days. GX cards felt a little bit more special than that. Hold on. There we go. There we go. I'm doing my math wrong. I would not make a very good Walter one. Krogorok, Dupiter the Spider, Ponyta, Venonat, what else would we got? Ralts. That's what I get for slurring my words when I'm sick. Wilmer Reverse, and a Verizion. Very cool. Alright, Lugia. Lugia is on this pack art. Maybe we'll get some Lugia luck. Oh, I ordered a shiny Hisui and Zerua plush from the Pokemon Center, and I also bought one single pack of Lost Origins. So maybe we'll get lucky in that pack. Maybe not, but maybe we will. Metal Energy, Dwojin, Dwojin, I think is how you say it. Hypno, we've got Sandy Gas, Relicant, Halucha, Rufflet, Volpix taking a walk. Hey, Radiant Serena! I always forget about Radiant cards, but I actually love them. These are very cool. Some of my favorite ways to do shinies. And of course, Cobalia. Silver Tempest with Alolan Volpix. Gotta fix this angle too. I'm working on camera stuff, guys. Hopefully, when the summer gets here and I don't have to wear these sweaters while making this video and I can move stuff around and just different stuff I can do with someone that I can't do with. Really. I mean, maybe I'm just being lazy. That's probably what it is. Matang, Toxapex. We have two more packs after this. This is the third to last pack. So I believe we already went for three before this. And this, yo, Passinian Trainer Gallery. Very cool. It's nice that when, even when you don't get something good. Wait a minute. Did I do that wrong? Where's my rare? Did I do five? Maybe I did five on accident. That's possible. But we got a Passinian Trainer Gallery. That's pretty cool. I probably did it wrong. Either that or I just didn't have a rare, which isn't that big a deal. It is what it is. Probably wouldn't have been anything good anyway. Code card for you guys. Good luck with your online polls. Let's see what we can pull in this second to last Silver Temper pack. Maybe we'll get second to last pack magic. We've got Zubat in a cave. Elgym. Fungus. Reverse Regenerative. Regenerative energy. Oh! Gold Lugia V Star. Let's go. The second Lugia I needed from the set. Lovely. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let me sleeve this real quick. We'll sleeve this one on camera because why not? The only thing I don't like about these gold cards is for a lot of the legendaries or some of the new and like newer Pokemon too, they don't always make them shiny, but sometimes the gold cards are shiny. And I gotta say, as a huge fan of Shiny Lugia, I would have preferred preferred this golden card to be shiny. I would have preferred it to be shiny. And my top loaders are in a different location, basically on a different desk that's all the way over there. So I have to go pick those up later and put it in after the video. But don't worry guys, it's safe. We do have one more pack. Second to last pack magic, I guess, gives it to us. Let's see, maybe we'll get some last pack magic. Wouldn't it be crazy if we pulled an alt art here? It would be pretty crazy. I would say that makes this a win-win. It's already a win-win situation. It is already a win-win situation. Let's see. Hopefully that was the right amount. We got Grass Energy, Raichu, Ferrothorn, Toxicroak, Stunfist, Vulpix. I love this Vulpix card. Vulpix is such an awesome Pokemon. I'm glad they put it in this set too. Ferroseed, Reverse Smeargle, and a Hollow Crobat. Well, we got a Hollow in our last pack. And it definitely does not beat the amazing pull that this Lugia V-Star is. But hey, we did hit a Golden V-Star, even with that terrible centering. I think I will take it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, slap that thumbs up button with your grandma. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment. Tell me your favorite pull. I'm assuming it's the Golden Lugia V-Star, because let's face it, we didn't pull anything better than that. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys, and God bless. Have a good one.